Take that. And that. Die. Haha. <laughs> you wanna videotape me? Videotape this. Oh, shit. Okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. That was my first attempt at a terrorist run, but I failed. So, let's try that again. Once again, I'll be skipping the cutscenes. You want to see the cutscenes? Go to the normal run. So, the first thing I like to do is take out the guards outside. So that way, and I think I'll just let him suffer. Uh, so that way, there are fewer reinforcements when things really start getting heavy, so to speak. The guards in a vintage year are very dangerous because they have shotguns, and shotguns do a ton of damage. So I'm going to run around this guy as he spins around looking at me, and... Yeah. I was going to grab onto him, but, uh... Well, it didn't quite work out, so what can I say? Oh, I like to... Oh, just because it's a terrorist run doesn't mean I won't be doing any sneaking at all. So I'm going to be sneaking into the mansion in slow motion. And I'm going to give this guy a sleeping pill. There you go, so he can sleep. And I'm going to sneak into the mansion through this way. This is another way you can sneak into the mansion. Uh, you don't have to kill anybody. And... I can't knock him out because the door's in the way. There we go. I had to move in order to get the knockout victim, uh, the knockout victim option. And there's one more guy on the ground floor here I want to get rid of. Uh, he's all the way down at the other end of the hall, so got to go here. If we run down the hall in the outside, the guards upstairs will see us. And let's get this guy's SMG. This SMG is pretty good. It's not silence, but it'll help us a little later on once the firefight starts. And he's hiding the gun behind his back, so I know the guard's close. Here he is. And there he goes. Let's pick up his gun, too. Oh, and it seems like they've discovered my handiwork, so we better, uh, better get going a little quicker. And there's a sleeping pill for you, my friend. And now we're a VIP guard. So... If you were doing a sneaky run, you could sneak through there and get that outfit. Of course, if you want to get your suit back, it's kind of a hassle to sneak back out again, but we won't be having that problem because we don't care in this run. Now, I think right here I was thinking I would wait for this guy to turn around so I could pick the lock, but uh, then I remembered that this is... The terrorists run, so I really shouldn't be waiting around, waiting to pick locks. I should be shooting people. And he's done, and his friend didn't hear anything. Well, thank you very much, low velocity ammo. And now we can pick that lock in peace. Now, I haven't mentioned it before, but you can actually shoot locks. Um, I'm not sure how much noise that makes when you're using a silenced weapon, so I'll have to try that out later. And, uh, I was gonna leave this guy be, but, honestly, the whole point of a terrorist run is to kill everyone in your path, so, I had just had to do it. And he's done. And I think I'm gonna give the same treatment to this guy. Yep, here I go. And he won't be playing cello any longer, because he just got his throat cut. Now that we're done with that, we can leave. Everyone in the mansion is shot or strangled. And no one is the wiser, really. So, now is time for Mr. Pink Shirt himself, the son. And I'm pretty sure he's down in the wine cellar. And I just gotta push this guy off the ledge. Uh, <laughs> I, it never gets old for me, pushing that guy. He's just asking for it. And they don't seem to care at all. And there's Mr. Pink Shirt over there. I think I'm going to use a bomb and try to blow them up as they gather around the body. Let's see how that works out. And throwing it. And oh, is Mr. Pink Shirt's friend saw me. So I'm going to have to uh, we'll set off this bomb. And maybe that'll kill the sun. Okay. Uh oh. That guy almost got me. 
the shotguns are really dangerous. And no, I didn't kill Manuel, so he's still alive. And we're going to have to hunt him down. And jeez, I have less than half my, half my energy. The, the shotguns are very dangerous. Going to have to be careful. And take cover behind these barrels. I'm pretty sure there are guards coming. And the sun is to our left, so as soon as we take care of this guy... And no, no, not the fiber wire. We need the SMG. And videotape this, buddy. Reload again, because they're too stupid to... Oh, I was going to say they're too stupid to close, close in on me, but then he went and did it. Didn't help him very much, though. And, uh... Yeah, reload. And why not? So, he should be around here somewhere. Where is he? And somehow he snuck around us, and he's back the way we were. So let's hunt him down and let him meet his maker. And there he is, and there he goes. So now, the only thing we have left to do is to walk out of here in one piece. So let's, uh... Yeah. Wrong place, wrong time, my friend. Oh, more ammo on the on the ledge there. It's kind of a weird place. I don't know what happened. How come there's a guy with bullet holes? I... Okay, I was trying to pretend I was that guy, but it didn't work out. He's done. And, ooh, more explosions. I love it. And you're done, too. And you're done, too. And right around the corner here is the elevator. And I gotta say, Hitman Blood Money elevators are slow. They they put Mass Effect 1 elevators to shame, really. I'm gonna wait. Getting kind of impatient here. But hey, here's somebody I can shoot. So, kind of makes up for it. Now, here, I can't get the option to go down. I, the body's in the way. I don't want to dress up as the worker. I don't want to open the door. And I had to hold the body in order to make the elevator go down. Yeah. So, uh, we're almost through with this stage. Um, I, I gotta say, I did pretty well. It, the whole trick is you just gotta bottleneck the enemies because they really are stupid even though their aim is quite good and I'm just waiting for this guy to wake up from his siesta and come over and see what's going on and he's now gonna take a siesta forever so there's that yeah. stuff my gun in my shirt and I'll be on the way on my way out of here and looking pretty good considering he got shot so many times and that's it so 31 kills 61 shots hit and 189 shots fired two witnesses terrorist rank nice now as you can see my notoriety is at 15 right now uh, i didn't really explain that last time basically well You'll be learning more about notoriety as we go along with a terrorist run because I won't be doing anything about my notoriety. Uh, I think, yeah. So, here are your options. The first one gets rid of 15 notoriety. The second, 50. And the third, 100. If we don't get rid of it, people will know who we are before we even raise a fuss. People will see your face and they'll run in fear, and the police or the guards will come running. So, generally that's a bad idea uh, to not get rid of your notoriety, but in this case, that's kind of the point. Uh, you'll see more of that later on, like I said. See, right now they have no idea what we look like, and that's it. That's it. See you later.